What's up, nerds? Welcome to DNA Weekly Strike. Corey, Joey, Brian. This week's question is: What can the uh, what can Destiny and the Division learn from each other? Um, I know we kind of talked about this on the last episode a little bit, but one thing that we didn't touch on that I kind of want to talk about is the mod system for weapons and uh, what Destiny I think can learn from the Division on modding weapons, so everyone's not using the same weapon. Well, I think that's one of the things that the Division did very well is the weapon customization. They kind of nailed that. Mm -hmm. um, the things that so many different attachments, what they can do, all that kind of stuff. In Destiny, there was really, there was like, they had the nodes, but there was clearly the best option mm -hmm. for every weapon. So, like, everyone was running, like, when the Thorn was hot, everyone was running the Thorn with the same exact nodes. Mm -hmm. There was no, like, so I couldn't really like change how I wanted to play with it. Like if I maybe I wanted to play a little bit closer to everybody, I could shoot it faster, like even mm -hmm. faster. But like the range or the accuracy was just god awful, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you really couldn't do that kind of stuff with you know. Like in the division, you can like put stuff on to help with stability or accuracy. You can put stuff on that gives you more headshot damage if you're better with headshots. You know, if you want a bigger magazine or a faster fire rate, you can. You have all those options, which is great. And I think that's something that Destiny really could do. I don't know how they would do it yeah. exactly, because those guns have such a like unique look. To like add how attachments would look on every single gun, I think would take forever. Yeah, I mean, but Ubisoft seems to be doing it because there's a lot of different guns in this mm, game. They, the, there's not that many different gun they types. They all have yeah. They all have like all of them are like of one category. They all have the same generic look. Mm -hmm. They might be different, like colored a little bit differently or yeah. something, but like, you know, I mean, every M4 you pick up is going to be an M4. Like, I mean, this, yeah. they're all going to look the same. Every AK is going to look like an AK. Every M9 is going to look, you know. So yeah. it's, it's, it's just like all the all the guns, you know, whether what type of gun gun it is, looks like its own, you know, that gun. Whereas in Destiny, it's like. Even just like the normal version of guns look different from each other to the point where it's like, like all the normal ones look have their own specific unique look. All the like the rare ones have their own specific unique look. So it's it's more like you know they. The, I I don't know because I'd say there's just there's just more that they'd have to do in Destiny. Yeah. I I feel like maybe not necessarily. They don't need to make you have to add mods or something in your game in Destiny. Just make it so those nodes actually do different things. Make it maybe a little bit more impactful on how the gun reacts to the way you play it. Don't make it so like... so. I Say for like snipers. I'd say give you an option to take the scope off of every sniper. Like, why can't you do that? I mean, I know, like, because then the, the No Land Beyond would really be like a worthless gun. But still... I mean, it'd be kind of cool to be able to, or you know, add some some other type of scope besides just the sniper scopes on that, or yeah, I don't know. Just I feel I feel like you could just there's different things you could add in that wouldn't necessarily make everyone always use the same attachments like they have been in Destiny, but not necessarily you have to make it so mm -hmm. you can add in like all these effort, extra different parts and whatnot. Yeah, like I don't know. Yeah, um, one thing. Uh, that I I kind of like about the mod system is that you can use different mods to your advantage depending on what perks and abilities you have. Mm -hmm. Which, like Destiny, kind of does that, but I feel like the Division does it better. I don't know how they would fix it in Destiny, but I mean I, that's kind of like where the mod thing comes in for the weapons in Destiny, and that would totally change the game. But um, I don't know. The crafting system is also something that would be really cool to have in oh, Destiny, yeah. Yeah. where you could actually like dismantling your weapons for like weapon parts would actually you'd be able to use the weapon parts to actually make a gun. Mm -hmm. No, I mean yeah. that would totally change the game too. Like if you took your weapon parts and like maybe some uh, you know that awesome worm spore that you get every time you go to the dreadnought, take that and make a weapon out of it. Maybe 
maybe even like the elements could add something like poison to your gun or or we don't need any more thorns <laughs> i've seen enough poison to last me a lifetime <laughs> <laughs> if i see my green go or my screen go green one more time i swear yeah that was like the worst yeah. for a while but no i get what you're saying the the crafting system i really enjoy yeah uh, I, I spend a lot like every time i get a new blueprint i'm always going back checking it out yeah uh, so it's pretty cool um also something that we've talked about before the Talk way stuff. the way your character looks is purely cosmetic. All the gear that you get to make your character look different is purely cosmetic in, in the division. So you you're saying you want like a kind of glamour system and yes, or a, like a transmog, I guess is the word that yeah. most people know. To where you can like make your gear look like other gear on yeah. Destiny. Yeah. yeah, and I I really like that about the division that what I look like is not tied to my gear. Yeah. I love that about the division because in Destiny, like when we've said this before, <laughs> at a certain point in that game, every hunter looks, looks the, same. the same. Yeah. Now they've they've it's been a little bit better because they've added in all this other stuff that you can get 320 now from like sparrow racing and all that crap. So you can finally like, but even then, like, I but, mean, you're either wearing the the raid gear, the trials yeah, gear, the yep. iron banner gear. So like, like most people look the same. There's no way to really like. Or you're like Stand up. The shader. Faction gear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there with future Warcog gear on up to level you know, 315. <laughs> the shader is really the only thing that like can make you stand out. Yeah. That's what I really like about the division is every character you run across looks different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really hard to find well, someone who's... They're Clothing looks different. Their face looks the same because there was like, oh, what six that, faces okay. to pick from. Yeah, that you, was awful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they needed like I thought. I thought, Desti I thought Destiny had a very like, good like. Oh really? I thought Destiny's, Destiny's was not very Destiny's deep was, at all. Yeah, it was very shallow. Compared I thought to, like, it was other decent. Customizations. Yeah. compared was, to the it, division, it was good enough. Oh my gosh! To compared where, to the division, the Destiny division looks like nothing. Mass Effect yeah. character customization. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we've <laughs> had things like Mass Effect where like. You can easily make your character look like whatever you want to look like. And why couldn't they just implement a little bit more customization? In there's this? like four like, hair choices. Yeah. yeah. Three like, beard choices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can either have scruff, beard, big beard. No, it's, no, not, it's no, not even big that's beard. That's not a big it's beard. It's not a big beard. I was so disappointed it's, with the beard. Yeah, that's a, I was the like, one I have on my character yeah, is the, the, that's the, the big, biggest that's, beard. That's big get. beard right there. And it's, that's it's, bullshit. I was so upset. Like, I was this like, is what he where's the like much. mountain man? Like, like yours? Yeah, because yeah. you know what? If you're living in this world, you tell me you're not going to have a big ass beard. It's true. When are you shaving? Yeah. In this true. world. Like, it's, Shave it's at HQ. Like, I guess. It's I like, mean, uh, it's just like nothing. Five o'clock shadow, a little bit of scruff, and like. <laughs> I mean, something. it. the choices <laughs> like, were awful. Yeah. It's like, true. Literally, there were only like four or five hair choices. Like, you can't have long hair. Oh, true. and then the, the glasses? Why are Even, glasses part of that and not part of your like. That makes yeah, you mad because I want to be able too. to pick. Like, I want to pick up some. I like. Uh, that's why I had to make a second character, too. Because I, I was like, damn it, I wanted those, like. Yeah, that's, that was confusing. Why that is glasses tied to your ca character's appearance instead well, you of. Like, should be able, like, you should be able to unlock something in, in HQ to go back and, like. Yeah, that should change be a thing. If you want to change something. Yeah, that's but it, it kind of pisses. Hopefully, they're gonna come out with an. They, they're not going to. Cause no, because like, it's already done. It's, it's already like, done, and like Destiny, never went back, and like yeah, Destiny's wasn't the greatest of all time. But like, but at least it gave you something. Yeah. You, you had you didn't you run had, across a lot of people you who had looked alike. Three different races. You yeah, had probably which, which like helped. like at least ten different hairstyles, depending on which race you. Like, yeah, I mean, which there's like yeah. thirty hairstyles. On yeah, them. I mean, because like if you picked an, an EXO, you know, they don't have hair, so I mean, well, they know, had like they, they, they had, had like the different antenna things or the weird little, you know. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. Even if you go to make a female character, there is no long hair option for I know. Your female. Well, it's like the, tied the up into a ponytail. It's like, like that's it's, it. it's awful. So like, uh, I don't know, man. I wanted Just, a guy with dreads, man. Yeah, I'm so surprised I did no not have that. No dreads. Because, like, the beta, I'm like, okay, they're it's not... It's the beta. Yeah, it's, it's the beta. There's not going to be very many customization options. I get to the, the full game, the and there's, like, four more options than in the mm. in the beta. I'm like... Well, the beta wouldn't let you, like, actually go to your hair and stuff. You could just, like, keep hitting randomize. But, mm -hmm. like, you basically saw everything ahead. But what I don't like is, I don't know if you've gotten to the part where you fight the leader of the... Rikers, I think it is. It's the chick, Laura, something. She's uh, some that's, black chick. That's the next mission. Okay, me. anyways, some like... Some black chick. Yeah, some black <laughs> chick. Uh, she has, like, like long, like, dread-like hair. Like, comes, like she has, like, a beanie on, and yeah. it comes out the back. Like, it looks sweet. Like, I, why can't my character have that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do I'm like just... my pom-pom my beanie, though. 
Yeah. I actually, I found a slouchy. Yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah. It looks just like this. <laughs> so I wear that. Did they have a hat like this? That'd be hilarious. Um, I haven't found it yet. Still searching. Definitely haven't found it. That would be sweet, actually. Yeah. I have, like, one of those ones that, like, like the fl- flaps want... on the side. Like, yeah. And that... then it's furry, like, right here. Mm-hmm. I don't know what those are called. Oh, like the the hunting, the, like, like, wilderness like, caps? Yeah, like, a, like, I found one of those. I yeah. don't wear it, though. You know what? this game needs is a bunch of funny stuff like that because this game is so serious that you need something to make your character look ridiculous in this world. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I, no, that's what I do. I mean, have you seen my Final Fantasy character? I'm a big guy wearing a suit with a snowman head. Like, yeah. going goofy is my thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think that would be funny, though. I just, yeah. No, that's really, I would love to. Have, I, mean, I mean, that's why I'm wearing the poofy jacket with the beanie with the pom-pom like thing on the top of it because... It's the goofiest looking thing I could find so far. My guy looks like he's ready for some, some business. Yeah, yeah. Suede yeah. sneakers, I think. I'm also. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm like I'm. T- Basic walking shoes. <laughs> Just look like I'm going. Somewhere. I got some like boots on because I'm ready to kick someone in the face, yeah. knock their teeth out. Yeah. All right, we kind of talked about what Destiny can learn from the Division. What can the Division learn from Destiny? How to they're, make your missions a little bit more interesting. Yeah. They're <laughs> and like and I thought the missions in Destiny were a little repetitive and I thought that game was repetitive. This one's even worse. Yeah. In, in I terms mean at least from doing the missions in Destiny the first time through, like they were the fun. strikes, they, yeah, were, they fun. were fun. I had a blast the yeah, first time I ran great. through all the different strikes. Well they were different. Yeah. yeah. Like the, and then the end bosses, they were all different. Like there was the yeah. Archon okay, Priest. There was there was a few that are a little like <laughs> close, but most of them were very different. Yeah. Like to the point where you you know you had to actually figure out how to fight this person. But yeah. And this one is just like, it's either going to be... duck and cover, wait for them to pop out so you can shoot them in the head a couple times. Yeah, this one is either going to be like a big guy with a machine gun or a big guy with a flamethrower, depending on what, you know, who you're fighting against. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, there's not a lot of diversity, but, I mean, it it's almost like they back themselves into a corner where they can't diversify because this is the real world and, like, all you can create are these big people with bullet sponges that are basically bullet sponges as far as enemy design. Start the only thing they could add would be like, oh, you know what really caused this? Aliens. And like... Or that, start making all the people who died come back as zombies or something. Yeah, like that's like really the only way you could like do this. <clears throat> or like if future updates say like, oh man, this virus, the people that didn't kill mutated these people and now they're big, giant ogre type people that's that's not the game yeah you know what i mean i know i mean that's not but that's happen, the corner but that they back themselves yeah into. which is good and bad because i like the realism of this game but it really shoves this game into a corner why can't we fight some people in tanks i don't think i've ever seen anyone like driving a tank around or anything like have a tactical mission trying to take out like a tank driving through this, well, the city that's a lot of the rumor that that's what the the incursion boss is going to be like some fortified military base like a uh, some sort of tank or or some kind of like heavy military type things which i know what you're saying though i wish that those were the end of the mission type bosses instead of like the one giant joe ferris or whatever joe the fa- yeah that guy he's like basically looks like a cleaner with a bigger backpack yeah he's a clean he's just a bigger cleaner with it just yeah. takes more bullets yeah same thing yeah so um i don't PvP, maybe you could steal from Destiny. I know we talked about that. Uh, I wouldn't steal from Destiny. I wouldn't steal from Destiny. I would steal, I'd steal from uh, I don't know Halo more, or more tech. No, I'd steal from, more I'd steal more Call from like TV. Call of Duty. SOCOM. Yeah, I'm not letting it go. Letting well, it go. I'm just saying more like actual like a multiplayer, like kind of created uh, system that's not just oh hey I wanted to go do the Crucible so I jump in and play the same five maps over and over again on just one game type yeah like I, or let you be able to make custom games with your friends like yeah. be able to add in the customization to the, the different <sighs> PvP you know game types you want to play and whatnot. yeah the more we talk about this PvP I'm so surprised that if the, I will be really surprised that they do not add it I think they will they're going to I think, I think it's just the it'll, same it'll, like the same thing update. as the incursion they just didn't probably have it ready when Plus, balancing is probably going to be a nightmare with all these mods and, and stuff. I wonder. Unless they just Unless... decide not to balance it and just let everyone go at it. I mean, they could just do a hands-off approach. Yeah. Maybe, they, maybe they'd take the Destiny approach there where, like, your gear and stuff doesn't really matter. Except for, like, 
maybe they'd add like a gear type multiplayer mode down the road. Or they could just have a stand like when you go into multiplayer, there's a standard weapon for like there's so when you go in, if you want to go with an assault rifle, there's a standard assault rifle you can use. I don't think there's people would like that though. They might not, but it's better than what they have now. Yeah, and you, you guys are talking about balancing issues mm-hmm. with the mod. That's how that's how you would do it. Now you could still mod those weapons with mm-hmm. how you want it with like the standard mods. There'd be standard mods for everything. Yeah, there'd be a standard marksman rifle, one that shoots fast, one that's an actual sniper, shotgun, that kind of stuff. That's like. That's how I could see them doing balancing. So like every gun's putting out the same damage, no matter mm-hmm. what level you are. Or yeah. add PVP gear, mm-hmm. something like. Or what, add PVP gear, what, like WoW does. Mm-hmm. Where they have like the PVE gear, which you can use in the PVP game type. But if you want to be actually competitive and be good at it, you get the PVP gear because it has those special stats right. on it that makes it good against other people. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. How, maybe that's the problem with why they don't have it now. But I mean, they like in the dark zone, you can keep, like. What do you mean balancing? Like there's those, you're branched off into those, whatever they're called, brackets almost. Yeah. But I mean, that that just goes by level. So yeah. if you're going to, that'd be tough to do that though. Like, cause then we couldn't play together mm-hmm. in PVP, which wouldn't be fun. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Unless they don't let you unlock PVP until you're 30. It's true. They can we do would, that too. We would know about, it. oh yeah, it's true. I'm not saying like now, no, but like that, but like later on down the road, yeah, they could, yeah, and that would give you an incentive to want to get through the, yeah, the story. Yeah, I mean that. That I guess that would be okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'd be okay with it. Some other people would. Be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but again, it would be better than what's there. It's now. better than what's there now. I mean, it's either you don't have it, or if maybe you got to get to thirty, so it's at least legitly fair. I don't know. Yeah, what they would do. But they definitely need it. The, it. the game's hurting without it. Yeah, I, I feel like this is something that the game sorely needs. But I mean, the only games that I think can survive without like a strong PvP element are ones that are just so great story wise that this you know the single player is just so amazing. Yeah. Um. Like like the old Mass Effects, for instance, like Mass Effect Two, that didn't need multiplayer. No, you know what I mean. Yeah, but that that mu- multiplayer was awesome. Yeah, but Mass they they added it to three. Yeah. Um, but I'm saying like you played Mass Effect Two and you weren't like, man, I really wish there was some multiplayer here because this story, whoo, it sucks. I don't care. No, you were like so. Well, immersed I played the in that Mass world. Effect Three multiplayer just because it was fun. No, had... that one is fun. That's not my point. Uh, he's point he's is, talking about we didn't play Mass Effect 2 for wishing, wishing there was multiplayer. No, no, like, like, like we're playing fun. through the division right now and we're like, man, like this game could use some multiplayer because like the story, there is I mean, there's some interesting stuff and like if you pick up like some intel, you learn more about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Which kind of reminds me of Destiny. Like when you had to like, like grimoire cards. The stupid grimoire card. Like it's the same thing, but they've done it better because at least they you at can, least show you they, what's you at going least can on. like yeah. view it right away. You don't have to like go on the website. <sighs> do you really want to listen watch some of those videos though? Man. I like, do. Just They're skip like them. You can just skip No, them. but I mean like some of those videos are like gruesome. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty but I mean like it's supposed to be like, realistic like, yeah, if this really happened, that's how it would probably yeah. go down. Mm-hmm. So and the, the, is the main point of this game trying to stop whoever spread this virus to begin with like, well like there's different enough, like or? the different branches like seem to have like a different story like the what's the yellow one is that security no, no that's, that's tech. tech so like the the tech missions was like based around almost like a rogue agent it's, mm-hmm. it seemed like mm-hmm. and trying to figure that out the security was about almost taking out like the different leaders of the factions and then the the, the medical seems to be based around like trying to find a cure who caused it that Dr. Amherst seems like he was the one who caused this mm-hmm. uh, huge catastrophe. And now it seems like in that one you're trying to like find a cure almost for that one doctor. That yeah. You, that's just my opinion. That's how it seems like each like branch of your base has its own like kind mm-hmm. of story. Yeah. Plus once like once you get into uh, upgrading your stuff, you can I don't know if you've gotten this far or not, but you can talk to the different. I guess leaders of the different parts of your base. Yeah. So like Paul Rhodes is the leader of the tech and stuff uh-huh. like that. You get to talk to him and Yeah. I don't know who the leader of the security is. The chick missing with the with the bandage? I don't know. No. No, she's the leader of the She's whole like the leader of the whole thing because the, yeah. yeah it so, was a, it was a guy cuz I remember I read yeah, and he rescued died. him. No. Oh, what? No. Oh. The not the I'm the leader of the the security. security I don't even I don't even remember. I just did that one kind of recently. Okay, so I don't remember. I just remember that one because I just did a, a tech once and it was Paul Rhodes. Yeah. So, and then the the lesbian doctor. Mm-hmm. 
she's specifically lesbian. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, she mentions yeah, her yeah, yeah, yeah. I just oh, can't. Okay. I just can't remember her name. That's yeah. just. I don't know. I always find that funny when they like make. make they come a, out of the way to make. They sure made that a they, point yeah. to be like, like my wife. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. how is that benefiting the story? I mean, yeah. it's. Yeah. I it's mean, cool. like, I mean, whatever. This, I mean, this is a side tangent. Nothing to do with this, but I hate it when they come out like when when movies and in games specifically come out to make it a point to say this person is a lesbian or black or gay or you know some other ethnicity. I don't care. They make like, so they like go out. They of make their it way. a yeah. They make it a point. Like okay, great. Uh, you're just a person to me. Great. Let's just move on. Like I don't. Like the way it's not even like the story behind it. It's just the way she says it. She's like, "My wife." Like, well, you do well, have a side mission, I think, kind of based around it. Then. Yeah, I know. I so maybe it was just opening it up for that. For yeah, I know, and but it gives it's, meaning for that mission. No, it's not. It's not the point that she says it. It's the way she says it that just really like tries to make it a point that to make like okay, I got it. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Yes. Be soft. Yes. It's like we were just talking about like a disease. Where did that come from? Yeah. Thanks that's, for the <sighs> personal info. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, side tangent. We we get it. You're you're okay with the you know that should be on LGBT. your rant show. What, what's it called? So settle, settle, down. settle down. It might be. Someday. It should be because I, I feel probably. like games do that. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, it's not yeah. just games. It's games. It's movies. Movies. It's yeah. Like all that stuff. Like they go yeah. out of their way to like. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But. I don't know. Anything else you think these games can learn from each other? I kind of think we touched on a lot this episode and last ep- episode. Yeah, I mean, specifically. I think we talked about things that we like, don't like. Yeah. Things they definitely need to fix. Uh, no jumping puzzles. Well, you can't jump. <laughs> I mean, Destiny should learn from. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I I, I kind of wish there was a jump, though. Yeah. Yeah, like, some type of jump. Personally. Not just a climb up. Just like yeah. a little yeah. leap. Yeah. Just another way to dodge getting <laughs> shot at, to be honest with you. You only have that roll and Yeah. yeah. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this week's DNA Weekly Strike. Remember you can find all of our content on digitalnerdadvocates.com on our YouTube page. Like, subscribe, and share. And you can see a live recording of this show and our podcast every Wednesday on twitch.tv slash digital nerd advocates. Come follow us. I keep saying subscribe. It's totally different. So, Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Yes, what he said. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next week, we're out.